Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very quick and easy tip that's going to improve some of your lives when it comes to 3D printing parts that just don't want to stick to the build plate. I print a lot of parts that have maybe a small bit that doesn't want to stick on the bed or it'll warp on the corners. That's a really common problem also. If you print something big and flat, it'll kind of warp up on the corners. And this is a quick tip in Prusa Slicer that can allow you to add uh, what people call mouse ears really easy. It's like a tab on the edge that allows it to stick to the bed a little bit easier. Now, full disclosure here, um, Prusa did not sponsor this video. However, Prusa does uh, run a Maker Fair and Prusa does help by sponsoring a personal project I have where I 3D print parts uh, to help people that have physical disabilities play video games, that's linked down below if you're interested, but let's get back to this tip. Okay, here's the part that I specifically have a lot of issues with, and it's a perfect candidate for this quick little tip. So here we are in Prusa Slicer, and here's the part. Now this is a, a piece that clips onto a game controller, and it's some really clever engineering by a gentleman called Akaki Kumari. Apologies if I mispronounced your name, uh, I'll link to this file down below. And you can see here that this little section here is very small and I have problems whenever I print that this will pull off of the bed, it'll warp the print or things won't fit right after that pulls off of the bed. Well, Prusa uh, somewhat recently added a cool new feature where you can add print volumes. You can throw some basic geometry on there that prints along with your part. So specifically to combat this, we'll right click on our file and we will add a part and I'm gonna do a cylinder. You can see that this throws up a cylinder over here. You can move this around and basically it's going to print that cylinder wherever you put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this down to really thin, like, you know, a millimeter or something like that. It doesn't have to be precise, but basically if it's super thin, it will add an extra area of adhesion on the bed and it will snap off really easy. If you make it too thick, it won't snap off easy and things like that. So I make it super thin. I move it downward on my area here to my build plate. Now, I don't see a way to drop this automatically down to the build plate. So what you may have to do, what I've started doing is I come over here to the Z location and I adjust it little tiny bits at a time until it is, um, you know, perfect. So like if I go too far, it's too low or, you know, so here I've got it just about right. Now when I go to 3D print this, it will create this little piece here, this tab that I can just snap off and it allows it to adhere to the build plate better. Let me show you what that looks like. That's really it. Like I said, it's extremely easy and fast, but I have found that to be an incredibly powerful add-on. It's been super useful. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps here on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what we have coming up next.